Real estate agents, your pipeline is waiting for you to call them. I'll explain next. Real estate agents tend to have an attention problem. They always want that new shiny lead, that new lead that inbounds, that new phone call, that new client that comes in and is ready to transact right away, whether it's a seller or a buyer. And I've got some news for people that like that approach, they may need to pivot here because your pipeline is waiting for you to call them. All the leads in your database, in your CRM, that maybe we're a little scared of the market. We're concerned about interest rates. Think about all the objections we've heard from sellers and from buyers. And I leave with sellers because a lot of people tend to go right to the buy side. Seller focused businesses are the ones that win in this industry. Think about the objections we've heard. The market's moving too fast for us right now. It's too hot. Rates have gone up and I don't want to jump into that kind of climate. I'm not waiving contingencies to buy a new home or I've got nowhere to go. These are all things we've heard from potential sellers and potential buyers over the past, I don't know, 26 months at this point, however long it's been since the start of the pandemic in March, April, and May of 2020. And now we are seeing the market change. We're seeing price adjustments on active listings. That's a reason to pick up the phone and call your database and all the leads you already have, all the ones you've been nurturing, all those folks that were a little hesitant, we know that inventory is starting to pick up and there's a lot of news articles, charts, graphs, use Keeping Current Matters, Inman, Housing Wire, whatever. The data is out there you can send to people that show this is actually happening. So you got these four objections that were really conditions in the marketplace and now all of a sudden it's going the other way. So all those people that were sitting on the fence, I've got a four point strategy to get them to meet with you and get them to talk to you. Number one, pick up the phone and call them. I've said this probably three or four times in the video here, calling your leads works. And a lot of folks, they wanna send the perfect email, send the perfect text. That is not the move here. If you're gonna do that kind of content marketing, the phone calls will be the gas on the fire. It's critical you pick up the phone and communicate with these folks. Then when you pick up the phone and call them, so it starts with picking up the phone, start off with a personal question. So. Hey Wendy, it's Tom Tool here. How's your summer been going? How's your family doing? Use one of your Sphere Ford scripts and ask a personal question to make it about the relationship, not about the property. Because a year ago, it was all about the property. If people weren't ready to waive contingencies and go really high above the asking price or sell their home without having a place to go, you probably wouldn't talk to them, which now is biting people in the ass. And then step three, Bring it back into real estate. So, hey Wendy, it's Tom Tool here with Remax. How's your summer going? How's your kids doing at camp? Have you taken any vacations? All really easy stuff. Then once you have a little bit of back and forth, hey, so the reason for my call is I'm following up like I said I would. Don't deviate from that language. I'm following up like I said I would because I know in the past we talked about you upgrading into a bigger property or downsizing or relocating because of a job. Bring it back to the motivation. This is where your note taking in the CRM is really critical. It should all be in there. Bring it back to the motivation and ask them, is that still in the cards for you? Are you still thinking about doing that? And see what they say, just stop talking. And then when they tell you what's on their mind, because obviously they will, show them what's actually happening in the market. Talk to them about interest rates. Talk to them about inventory starting to bubble up a bit. Talk to them about price reductions and time on market increasing. Talk to them about what we know is actually happening in the market to give them confidence or at least the right information to make a decision. All this stuff is easy to do. That four step process will work because these leads are ready to transact. The older leads are always the leads that are most ready to go because life happens to people. A lot of times people put an inquiry in or you talk to them very early in the process and you've got to nurture your leads. That's just how this business works. And the people that focus on long-term nurture, build the relationship, bring it back to the motivation and be the knowledge broker and share what's actually happening in the market, they'll be the ones doing the lion's share of the transactions for the rest of 2022.